Good morning, Chairwoman Elmers, Ranking Member Richmond, distinguished members of the subcommittee. I'm Dr. Farzad Mostashari, the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology at the Department of Health and Human Services. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to appear before you today to talk about what the Office of the National Coordinator is doing to support the deployment and meaningful use of electronic health records, especially among smaller physician practices. I know from personal experience both the importance and the challenges of using better information to improve individual and population health, especially in a small practice setting. As the former head of the Primary Care Information Project in New York City, we reached out to practices that served Medicaid patients and signed agreements with providers in small practices and community health centers and hospital outpatient departments to establish electronic health record systems. Over half of small practices in the city's three most underserved communities eventually signed up with the program. In a little over a year, more than 1,000 providers started live use of EHR systems with a 99 percent implementation success rate. It was hard. The Office of the National Coordinator's core mission is to improve patient care, improve health outcomes, and make the health care system more efficient through the effective use of health IT. Much of ONC's work is aligned in support of the Medicare and Medicaid Meaningful Use EHR Incentive Programs. These programs, which my colleague from CMS will talk about in more detail, provide financial incentives to eligible providers and hospitals that adopt and use electronic health records in a meaningful way to improve health and health care outcomes. This unprecedented public investment does not treat technology as an end to itself. Rather, it will result in concrete progress towards our policy objectives, measurable improvements in health and reduction in cost. I would be happy to talk about all the ways that ONC is supporting this transformation in health care, but in the interest of time today, I will highlight some of our major initiatives. ONC is at the center of efforts to establish standards for EHR systems and let providers and the public know which EHR systems are meeting these standards. We currently have six authorized private sector certification bodies, which have certified more than 700 separate EHR products. This is indicative of the development of innovative EHR products that are less expensive and easier to implement for small practices than ever before. Of note, 60 percent of the vendors of these systems are small businesses with fewer than 50 employees. Our Regional Extension Center program, inspired by the Agricultural Extension Center program, supports a network of 62 state and local organizations that offer training, information, project management, and technical assistance to providers in order to ease and accelerate the adoption and meaningful use of EHR technology, particularly by primary care providers, small practices, critical access hospitals, and other underserved or under-resourced providers. The Regional Extension Center program has enrolled more than 70,000 providers, 94 percent of whom are primary care providers, and about half are an individual or consortia of small practices. ONC's Health Information Exchange Program is helping build the infrastructure for sending and receiving electronic health information securely across the Nation's health care system with a focus of simple but secure technologies that can be used by all providers to improve coordination of care, whether they care for patients in small practices, urban clinics, or rural hospitals. These efforts have sparked a remarkable growth in the health IT industry as a whole, which has led to a strong demand for skilled workers. To address this emerging shortage, ONC has supported 82 community colleges in establishing health IT certificate programs where training can be completed in six months or less. So far, over 2,400 students have graduated from the community college programs. Another 4,700 are currently enrolled, and we are on our way towards our target of graduating 10,000 students every year. Many of these graduates will end up helping small practices who often lack the resources for dedicated IT staff to successfully implement EHR systems. Finally, I want to point out that ONC, along with our partners at CMS, the Office of Civil Rights and other Federal agencies have taken a number of important steps toward making sure electronic health records remain private and secure. 
ONC has embedded privacy and security into all of our programs and policies. For example, the standards and certification criteria I spoke about require that EHRs have the capability of encrypting electronic health information, tracking who accesses each record, and limiting user access. Meaningful use requires that providers conduct a security risk assessment and mitigate any risks identified. Our regional extension centers are providing technical assistance on protecting privacy and security, and our new health IT training programs ensure that the future generation of technical workers are well grounded in privacy and security. Health information technology is indeed a critical foundation that supports efforts to modernize and transform our health care system. Now is the time to get down to the hard work of implementing and using health IT in a way that leads to better health care, that is high quality, safe, coordinated, efficient, effective, and patient-centered. And I'm proud of ONC's role in achieving that goal. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to appear before you today. I look forward to answering any questions you might have. 